Yeah, this is literally one of my favorite little indies. I love this game. As you see, I have seven hours into it. I think I have a build going on already. I do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to camp. Oh, no, you lose progress in this adventure. Okay, let me just die. So I could take you guys on a fresh run. Kill me, kill me, kill me. It takes so long to die. It says I have a great build going on, but I'm like fine with that. I just have a lot of HP. <laughs> just like, let's just die here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kill me here. There we go. Also, also this guy is murdering me right now. Okay. Dead. Grab me roguelikes. Roguelikes and nothing gets me the same hot uh, ho hoots but gusta. Like, Enter the Gungeon? I do like Enter the Gungeon. Did you ever try Escape the Dungeon? It was kind of cool, too. Okay, so, if you guys notice, this character is actually for Backpack Battles, because they had a collaboration. So this is actually the backpacks, Backpack Battle Reaper in the game. Who are you? Oh, you unlock things? Discover the following spells in the adventure after activation. Oh, you have, you're unlocking spells. Okay. One long press to activate. I don't have the stuff for this though. You don't like backpack battles? Understandable. It's not everyone's cup of tea. You unlock this stuff. Improves the durability of the reforge equipment. And you are inventory slots. Wait, do I want that? No, I want the HP boost, I think. There we go. What I'm doing is I'm improving myself right now. And as you see, you can literally pick up some of those skills. But I'm going to go Reaper set. Bazaar is backpack battles, but less of the stuff I don't like and more of the stuff I do. I love Bazaar. Oh, I meant for exit the dungeon. Gotcha. All right, so let's go with a normal run. Now, how this game works, for anyone that hasn't seen this one before, you build your, you literally build your character. So here's my, here's my wands. I can have up to three. These are my inventory up here. I can store spells. The wand works like this. It has MP, the bottom left corner. And my HP is bottom left corner as well. And then the spell works is, um, the spell works like this. It's like your MP, your MP regen is 10 a second. Your cast interval is 0. 0.15 and your cooldown is 0. 0.5. So that means like how fast you can use your spell. So my cooldown is 0.5, as you see. Now, the first spell is called Venom Crystal. It applies one stack of poison, dealing damage per second each second for three seconds upon spell hit. It activates her all spells on the right. So what I'm doing is I'm building things to activate onto the Shadow Serpents, which are these bad boys. So these are little serpents that I'm firing. And because I have the poison on the left and it activates any spell on the right, these are actually poisoning anything that it hits. And I actually ended up killing everything in front of me. If you played Nota, it's kind of like the same building style like this, um, but it's more into a, an actual RPG like this. Imitates the first spell on the right, maximally duplicating its level one effect. So I can actually buy this, renew that. And it literally just duplicates it. So you can have two of them if you want. Doesn't really do a ton, but whatever. Um, let's go with a relic. Relics work just like the other roguelikes. You get it and it does things passively. That's a new character that I've actually never encountered. So. Ooh, HP, grant a temporary shield equivalent to your lost HP. Cool.
You notice how I missed that whole thing? Okay, so here's your relic. One of those elven demons casting spells no longer reduces movement speed. The demon bone tail generates a magic bullet that follows you upon enemy death, dealing damage equal to 10% of the dead enemy's max HP. For a bloodthirsty gaze, upon killing an enemy, there's a 20% chance to restore one HP. I kind of like this one because the bullet is really cool. Let's get another relic. These guys, oh, these guys release little butterflies. If you don't kill the butterflies, they hurt the hell out of you. Gotta watch out for this one. Uh, this game is like, when you get maximizing, look like that, see that, see, see? See the stupid little butter? Oh, okay. Well. When you get maximizing, it gets crazy. Increased damage dealt by 1% for every three coins you have. Holy tired brain. I mean rogue. Rouge. It's Rouge works. Gains one chance to refresh relics each time a relic is retained. Upon killing an enemy, there's an 8% chance to drop a coin. Let's go with that one. It looks like I'm going for a relic run right now because... Relics keep popping up, so let's just keep rolling with the relics. Hopefully someone drops an HP. This character is a little OP in the beginning. So, I, I it's kind of funny to have this character. Like, I kid you not, this, this spell right away is super OP. Is you're taking 10 damage each hit. Increase all damage dealt by 20%. Summons three sprites to interrupt. Upon taking damage, movement speed. Let's take the 20% damage increase. Another relic. Let's just keep rolling. Let's keep rolling relics. Oh, this character is actually really cool. It's If you ever encountered a caterpillar in other games, it works the same way. These guys so Those guys can get real bad real quick. All right, grab these. Restores four MP upon enemy death. Relic option plus one, or absorbs all HP. Increases max HP by fifty after absorbing seventy. I'm gonna go with the relic option plus one because we keep getting relics. Now this is a spell option. We're gonna get a chance to be able to pick up a new spell and build our our. Oh, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think. Be able to build our uh, our wand a little bit beyond what we have right now. Let's do that real fast. Good, good, good. I'm trying to figure out how this works. The bullets. Spell duration plus 2% and Shadow Serpent. Okay. So I got these two. So I could actually like attach a second one here. And it'll just let me go through three of them. That's why the cooldown is the way it is, because the cooldown is between the two. Here's your first boss. The first boss is always pretty dang easy. I don't want to say that right away and then I die. <laughs> Again, I, usually there's a bunch of music on right now. But unfortunately the music is copywritten, so I unfortunately cannot play it. So now you get to pick a, another wand, and each wand obviously comes with different things. This is MP cost times 70%, final damage times 70%, uh, cast interval plus 12, cooldown plus, so this is faster. Shamanic dagger, higher MP, lower regen. Spell cast with this wand may undergo random base elements changes, which is super cool, means they could be poison, electric, water, stuff like that. Um, and it's a longer, more slots, so you could, oh, actually, sorry, this is longer, more slots. I actually wonder why the boxes are bigger. I'm going to go with the Shamanic Dagger because it gives me this Shadow Serpent. And now you have three Shadow Serpents. Uh, which means that when we go to the little forge area, we can actually forge it into a bigger Shadow Serpent. Oh, 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 oh two, two. As you build your wands, obviously they get more, they get stronger. I hate these things because when you kill them, they just become a stupid head. 
and they're creepy as all hell. As you see, my, my MP is all the way down. They said you are a stupid head. Yeah, very sorry. Let's go relic. Or, yeah, relic again. Oh my god. Tell me that's not the creepiest thing you've ever seen. Kill him through the fire. So, yeah, it takes some damage there. Each potion use increases max HP by 3 and max MP by 2. Heals 10% of all enemies' max HP plus to all enemies upon taking damage. Upon killing an enemy, there's a 20% chance to generate a shield. Let's go with shield because I'm obviously taking some damage here. Let's go to the forge. The forge is what I was talking about. So, we can go in here, combine three identical spells into one advanced spell, which is super cool. There's three. We can craft it into this, which does more damage. And we'll do that. And now the thing is, remember this one, remember that this copies the spell to the left or to the right. So now this is a copy of this one. So now we have that. I have the spell duration so it lasts a little longer too. Let's go with the HP up. Do, 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 do. As a key. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, that was almost bad. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, there's your HP up. Now, this is a hidden door. I just got a key so I can actually use this hidden door real fast. And we'll do that. Is there some, usually some pretty hidden stuff in here. There, across, there, across. Ta-da! And because times 150 increases cast, spell cast by one. So you can multi-shot it now, so I can put that like that. So now, it's a double. It's a multi-snake. It's a multi-snake. Oh, these guys take the properties of what they land in. Just like oozes wood. So. They actually become poison. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, more? Come on. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. There we go. Oh my gosh, more? Oh, they're kings. Well, took care of that. <laughs> I can't reach this. There is a uh, spell that you can use that will let you get over there. I just don't have it. Rainbow. And then Parasite. Summon creatures gain... 30% attack speed and movement speed, losing 2 HP per second. When summoned creatures die, two parasites are spawned. Summoning creatures are super freaking cool. I would like to go to the shop, but I really want to build up my, my relics. So I'm just going to keep rolling with the relics. The shop is quite cool, though. Obviously, you would go to the shop and you can buy things. That's, I mean, it, it, it's a shop. <laughs> you know what I mean? There we go. We'll grab these. We got a Titan's Pauldrons. It's a relic. Body size plus 115%. Relic recoil minus 40%. Oh, and I'm huge. Oh, my funny thing is when you get these relics, they actually, you actually see that I have the tail. See the tail on the back of me? Yeah, see the little tail? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Just yell, uh, Ava, 
of Avada Kedavra. When you cast it, it would kill anything in one. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Movement speed's really good. Restore 5 HP upon entering a door. Gains 1 temporary shield points upon killing enemies. I'm going to go with the movement speed. Um. Um. Looks awesome and horrible. Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh. I can't tell which one's me and which one's the enemy right now. Get all monies. Boss time. I don't remember this from Harry Potter. Why are there so many demons in this dungeon? She asks while she slowly becomes the demon. What's that thing? You slowly become you, you slowly become that that which you hate. This boss is really easy, obviously. It's the first boss. While holding this one, MP regeneration times 20%. When not holding this one, MP regeneration times. Okay, so this is really cool. So this is where you start doing your build and you start figuring out what you want to do for your build. Um, this right here will let you will let you basically have the wand. You don't have to put anything in it. It just lets you have your MP regeneration. Like it's it's just an active an active basically. Oh, okay, so these are these are I think these are max HP. So you actually lose the max HP. You can take that offhand for bonus MP. Exactly. The next room is guaranteed to have a chest or a statue. Oh, it's Timo's hat. No more levels have one more door. Um, and then player is summon limit times two. Cannot affect one spirit and autonomous grimoire summon limit. So if I wanted to, I could take one of these bad boys. I'm not going to because they're gonna murder my HP, but I do like the Teemo hat though. I will admit. I think this is the longest I've held on to starting relics. Let's go shop this time. And here's your shop. Here's your shop. I, I, I don't know if anyone expected anything different. The pops are really cute because they're summons. Um, umbilical cord. Let's see, charge mode. Hold the shoot button to accumulate spells up to a maximum of six times. And you can also buy a new wand, which is heavy impact, gives you a damage boost. Might be, that would actually be almost like, almost worth buying just to grab that. Let's grant 30 points of shield. Let's get that. Let's get more shield. And then we can actually re-roll one time for free. Oh no, my refresh is the current inventory. I guess it's multiple. Here's your damage boost. We can actually take that. Evil Slayer Sword is something I've never played with. That seems really cool. Cast a spell on the right, the completion of a spell on the left. A spell at the right inherits 30% of the damage from the spell on the left. It's actually really cool. Portable Library. Records and casts the first available spell on the right. For more grants and MP regen speed equivalent to 50% of the summoning wand. Oh. Cool. That's actually really strong, honestly. I'm going to grab the damage boost. And we will do that. So now everything is actually amplified. As you see. No reason to go to the forge. So let's go and go to the spells. More shield. Oh, I guess man. For some reason I remember the mods. Mods made spells cost more MP. Yeah, I think they do actually. It's an incredibly annoying room. Especially for me. Jeez. Pop. 
when the spell deals critical hits, randomly attraction one of the enemies with a radius. Oh, nice. More relics, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, I made a mistake. Okay. That could have been really bad. Grants immunity to ground spikes. Grants immunity to venom and slime. I do like the spells penetrating walls too, but they already spell. They already do that. What's the statue situation? So the statue, if you have a curse, randomly removes one curse. I don't have any curses. So you can use 10 HP to remove a curse, but we don't have any curses, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about spikes anymore, so I can just walk over these now. This is actually, oh, I do have to worry about holes though, apparently. I forgot, spikes are the things on the ground, not holes, sorry, I'm stupid. Finally found the bird roguelike I was talking about. Blazing Beaks, oh, I always wanna play Blazing Beaks. I think it was Blazing Peaks that I wanted to play. Debate the Relic. Deal 20 damage per second to enemies within 3 meters. Randomly upgrades one Relic. If no Relic can be upgraded, receive a common Relic. Nasty Spells no longer. I'm going to go with... Regen is definitely necessary. So is the damage around me though. And plus two regen is not a big deal. Oh, so we want this one. Middle. Got it. Atomus Grimoire. Is this better than this one? What? Wait, wait. Is it gonna... Is it gonna cast the spells for me? What's my MP regen right now? Eight, sec eight per second. Oh no, there's stats somewhere. There's a way to look up basic stats. Oh, I did it again, dang it. <laughs> there's my shield. Oh, they do. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is so passive mode. Ow, I got hit by something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I could just kind of like my... I think I just, I mean, that's cool, don't be wrong, but I think I kind of like my spells that they are. Right? They're cool, but I definitely feel like this is the way to go. Like flooding a room full of... <laughs> oh, I knew it, I knew, it. I was like, ah, don't get hit by this damn thing. Oh yeah, this is annoying.
We're not gonna hit the pot yet. Not gonna hit the pot yet. Not gonna hit the pot yet. Okay, now we're gonna hit the pot a ton of times. What'd you give me? Shadow Serpent, level one. Pillar of Light. Oh, I hit my, oh God, I hit my mic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ow, ow, ow. I literally knocked my mic off the stand. I have, to, I have to scratch my arm and I can't reach my arm right now because we're in the middle of the battle zone. Ow. Yeah, you guys keep dodging. They definitely improved their dodge because that, that, that used to not be a thing. Rainbow, hover in place for two seconds at the completion of a spell. Ooh. That might be kind of cool. Now, you know what I need to do? Take this off, put this here, and then put that back on there. I guess it never stops, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, but we can work with that. Oh no. Oh, we found out why his name is Hatcher. Get my MP back up. Ah! Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> he should die, it's poison. God. Uh, how is he not dead yet? Oh my gosh. We still have to defeat his little minions too. Jesus. The spell on the left hits an enemy, cast a spell on the right as the mana cost A with a short interval. Nice. Energy saving mode, nice. If I can find that spin thing where the spell spill like spin around you, that's a, a beast of a spell. Oh yay, more ghosts. Yay. I hate these ghosts, dude. You can tell. Yeah, they reject spells when they go in their little shell thing. That's why you see the red ones. Oh, I've never seen this guy before. Oh, I've never seen this guy before. Oh, hi, friend. I'm just gonna stay behind this wall. Oh, come on, come up with a new gimmick. Every knight does that. This guy gets annoying if you have nowhere to hide. Oh, these guys get so hardcore. Remember that guy from Castlevania? What game is this? It's called Magic Craft. Oh god. Oh, move, 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 move. I'm stuck in a corner, man. Yeah, Magic Craft.
Yeah, this guy's incredibly annoying. Ow. Ow. All oh, the combo and synergy and crappy spells. Yep. This one you can't beat until you... Let's get the banner back. You have to beat every part individually. Yeah, it's so annoying. Mezzo hitting up, it's sleepy time. Thanks. Appreciate you, original. Appreciate you. Hope to see a lot more. I understand Twitch. I understand a lot of people don't have to put time for Twitch lately, so I completely understand. I hope you get to still hang out with us on. I'll be posting more stuff on um, YouTube, including stuff like this, where I'll be posting, you know, indie games and stuff like that too, as well. Again, if you guys want to, I do have the indie game channel. There's a link right there. Double check that one right there as well. But appreciate the support, guys, as always. Oh, I gotta fight another round of these stupid. This is this is by far the worst. The worst room. 100%. Oh my god. This is the worst room. I hate this room. Oh. I put on a, a temporary shield with my potion. Hey, Shard, how you doing today? Oh, please just die already. Jeez, man. Too much late. What do you mean? Oh, I don't have a key? Shut up. Really? Uh -huh. Listen, if I get to defeat you with my passive, I'll defeat you with my passive, okay? Can't touch spikes anymore. Name a game, Magicraft. <laughs> oh, this night's gonna be fun. There we go. Duplicates all HP recovery shield coin and keys from the current room. Oh, nice. oh wait, wait, wait. Let's do. Oh, I was gonna say, let's do that then. Could have got into some awesome stuff there. Spell. Oh crap. <laughs> To see that that works in the in the in the shop. Um, I mean it's more so. Oh, like dup duplicates. Oh, like duplicates uh, keys and stuff. Probably not. Good. How are you doing today? Oh god, this is this is this is the shit that's gonna suck right here. It's a bounty house. God man. 
next spells casted simultaneously deal 12 damage on the path. This is actually kind of fun if you do this. It gets a little thing in between them. But I need a bigger wand for that. What green line snakes? It's poison snakes. They're poison snakes. Immunity spikes and pools of floor garbage. Yes, that's a huge one. I definitely need the key. Definitely need the shield. Definitely need more shield. Thank you. I don't think take the multi shot and the multi shot because now you can do that with extra. Yeah, that's a nice regen. Honestly, the... I'll do that for my regen. But because it's not, it, it's so much like, the hold in place really isn't affecting this, you know? Oh God, this is gonna be a room. Oh, thank God for my hover damage, man. Thank God for my hover damage. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. There's 11% chance to dodge attacks. Gain one refresh. Those can penetrate walls. They already penetrate the walls, so it's useless. Let's dodge the attacks, I guess. Oh, I had to get the penetration. I really needed more... I honestly really needed more, um, uh, what is it, health? Hope for health. What is white circle? The white, oh, the circle around me right now? That's a, uh, damaging circle. He turned into that. That's funny. Yeah, the dot. Oh, you can go through the wall. Holy shit. Ping, ping, ping. Thank you. For every two HP loss, increase all damage by 1%. Upon killing an enemy, there's a 20 pain chance to summon a tracking skull dealing 96 damage. Hmm. The casket of souls at the bottom or the back. Spike shield or spike um uh chest. So that spike chest you literally use your HP to open it. So I usually fight these guys with dots. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, okay. No, no. I said that was horrible. No, 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 no. I digress. It got worse. Kind of want to see if the ranger boots put tiny boots in your tentacles. Oh my god. Wouldn't that be amazing? Um, I forget how much this is worth. 
It's my shield anyway, who cares? Max of the Hexer. Uh, the Hexer. For each curse you own, increase all damage by 10%. I don't have any curses, so... I also like my aura because it breaks everything in the room. So, it ends up where you, like... You'll be going in the room and all of a sudden you'll just get random stuff dropping. This cage isn't too horrible. Its counterpart is horrible, so... You'll see what I mean by that in a minute. You win, right? Totally win, right? Yeah, totally. The first time that happened, it, it got me good. I was like, oh, I win, good. I will tell you one thing, it is an incredibly original design. Like that attack is super cool. I can appreciate that attack. Is it counterclockwise or clockwise? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll take all that, thank you. Allows the use of MP from this wand when MP from other wands is insufficient. Post slot. Charge 35 energy for every second stood still. So these are cool. These are passive wands where these slots are used when something happens. So this one is like if I stand still, these are used. Really cool. I will take this one though. Ooh. And we'll drop the first one. There we go. And then we will... So now this MP, I can use this MP when I run out of MP. Oh, it ruined my whole thing. Womp womp. There we go. Now you can store other things in the wands. Like, it doesn't matter. Which is actually kind of funny, because if you think about it, you can actually do this. So I could do this. Like that. So I could have a summon wand if I wanted to. Did these drop anything? If you have that, if you have that fear where you don't like little mini things or like little creepy crawlies, look away because this guy is just a ass load of creepy crawlies. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of these characters are all creepy crawlies. Oh, and the board like morphs over, so you can actually go off one side and go to the other. Yeah, no, this is, this is a hard. They make these, this is the last stages here. Well, this used to be last stages. Now, I haven't been to the last, last stage yet. 
I'm actually very interested in checking it out. Obviously. Because this boss is a thing. Yeah, it, it, this boss is a thing. Oh, that's permanently. Oh, I should see. I should just drink that. I didn't realize it was permanently. My bad. I didn't read it properly. Me mayhem has an option for people with. Oh, really? That's cute, actually. I didn't play me mayhem. Mayhem. It looked a little. It looked a little rough. What am I gonna hit from? Oh, okay. Like, not, not in a bad way, just like something to hard to play on stream. Okay, there's that. Uh, I will take the forge this time because we can forge this together. And now we have multi shot cast by two. Cool. Oh my gosh. It may be the purest form of auto battler, really? I might take a second look then. Okay, I've never seen this thing. It looks elusive as hell. First discover that enemy I suggest you call it the Bermary. <laughs> Deal. Oh god, this is dude, this is not easy. How many waves are there? Okay, last one. Please die. Please just die. Just die. Just die. Please. Thank you. God, man. Causes detonation at regular intervals, killing half of the non-boss enemies on the field. I mean, it's the... It's the... Finite. It's the Infinity of Stones. I don't know what... I don't know what exactly what it does, but... Yeah. Sure. These guys are so... This whole board has just incredibly annoying enemies. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. Like this one. And then they all fly at you. Yeah. That's a sound effect. Stop flying sideways. I want to kill you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh yes, there we go. There we go. Kill everyone. That's a terrifying sound of it. That's my infinity stone. That's what it is. Or my infinity gauntlet. gauntlet. Um, crit, crit chance, seven three spirits upon killing an enemy. It's still shield. Oh, these guys are cool. They spread apart and then they come at you. The one thing you can say, they sure has some very original enemies, man. If you're wondering what the um, chest is, it is a um, it is a curse chest. So, what will happen is, you, you get a curse from taking it, basically, if it that way. You gotta find the right one. You're seeing the chest of 10% chance 
has a 7% damage increase in it. Oh, yeah, that's actually true. You're right. It does. Upon killing an enemy, there's a 30% chance for someone to track and do it. Increase the cast interval and cooldown of wands by 10%. Decrease your damage by 10%. There you go. First. Our first curse. I remember it was like yesterday. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Stop it, stop it, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Ow. That was a lucky shot, that was a very lucky shot. Great to like your snakes screen wrap. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, that Infinity Stone came on the right time, man. I mean, not Infinity Stone. Totally not Infinity Stone, because that would be copyright. Summon creatures gain 40% and restore 2% per 5 seconds. Mana regen. So this would be cool for... Right there. I don't have a key, so I can't unlock that. I think he walked into that. That's funny. Hopefully he dies from that. Oh, they have a secret realm. We have a key and go down the secret realm. These guys are annoying. Definitely not my new favorite, my new, like, least favorite enemy, but definitely annoying. Alright, shop time, please. Is key scarcity also an issue? Just bad luck. Just bad luck. Lightning dash. That's the dashing that I was talking about before. The Grimoire, the Siege Maker. We say disintegration. There's 25 cents of auto casting when using other wands. This is really fun. Ooh, that's a good one. Butterfly is really good. Freezes the target for upon spell hit. Plague Bear. Oh, it's a Cthulhu. It's a Cthulhu. Oh, they have the orbit. Okay. Um. Okay, watch this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to steal orbit. I can't steal orbit. Can't steal orbit off it, damn it.
It's passive, so it actually has no HP or has no MP. This is why Orbit's my favorite. This is fucking crazy. Um, I'll buy that too, why not? Frozen poison snakes? <laughs> well, there you go. Oh god, we faced the one boss that this probably isn't a good idea with. Thank you. Oh. There's so much going on the screen, I couldn't find it. There was so much going on the screen, I literally couldn't find it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. No, it was literally just like bang, 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 all this crap going on at the same screen.